Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zahoor Ali Shah. I belong to Pakistan. My age is almost 55 now. Primarily, I am a lawyer. I have also been engaged in journalism and uh, radio broadcasting as well. But ultimately, I got myself shifted to the profession of teaching. I think there is some natural, uh, let me say, ability or something like that, which I find in myself, that brings me to teaching, that inspires me to teach. Whatever little I know, I want to share with the students and with the world. This is what uh, I have been doing for the past so many years. I am Muslim. I believe in Islam. I have got very strong faith in Islam and in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in Quran. I have three children, two sons and a daughter. All got married and enjoying their own lives. And by the grace of God, I have two cute granddaughters and a very, very smart grandson. My wife, a very educated lady who got her master's some 35 years back. A lady with a high character who spent 33 long years with me and gave me a lot of strength By all this, I mean that by the grace of God, I have everything which some desire is to have. But still, I don't find myself satisfied and content. I am importing education with my own free will in rural area, rather rural areas. This gives me a lot of satisfaction, happiness, and contentment. But still, I found some sort of dissatisfaction, unsatisfaction, and a desire to have more, not money, knowledge. 
because still I cannot find answers to many questions. teachings of Islam. I believe that Islam is the true religion, religion of nature, a complete code of life which guides its followers to the right path. It gives a complete code of life following which we can never be uh, defeated by the worldly desires. But still there are some things in my mind which I could not avoid to think and there are some questions in my mind whose answers I could not find in spite of all my uh, strong beliefs uh, in books and knowledge and in every such thing. The basic question, the first question which arises is about myself. That I have not been created with my consent. God, Allah, the Almighty created me and He had complete power, authority to do that he is the only one who can, who could and who will be able to do all this that I mean creation by creation I mean creation of myself he created me without telling me, without asking me whether you want to be created or not he did it. And he created me as he wanted to create me. That's to say that in my creation there is nothing of my choice. My uh, physical existence uh, the family in which I was given birth, the atmosphere in which I uh, brought up, and all things, my features, my character, and so many other things. Let me say everything is created by his choice who created me and I am left with a few options rather no option then whatever I wanted to do I could not have done that The things were very simple, which I thought when I was uh, in my early childhood that I'll do this in my future. The things are very simple, but I don't know why I could do that. It's very strange. I feel there is, there is some power who keeps me in a certain